I did something dumb the other day. Um, mm-hmm. I I got a haircut last week, and nice. as I was walking, uh, that was really stupid, it's by so the way. Dumb. As I was walking Looks out good. of the barbershop, thanks. There were um, a couple of steps. It's like yeah, it's five or six steps to go down from like the upper level to a lower level. Oh. And I I pulled out my phone. I was like, all right, I'm just gonna text. Yeah, I text all the time. Walk in and I got I got these steps and <laughs> yeah, I text all the time. <laughs> and I'm walking down the steps, and I thought that the next step was the ground, but there was actually one more step. Oh. So like. <laughs> I kind of no. like stepped really fucked up and then like twisted my ankle and like all my weight fell on, onto one ankle like as it was rolled over and so like I collapsed like an idiot on the sidewalk <laughs> and I'm just like like I hit myself all stupid and I'm just kind of <laughs> laying there in a pile and I look around and I'm like oh cool nobody saw <laughs> nobody saw I can just get up real fast and just keep walking oh god and I stand up real fast put all my weight on both my legs and I don't no. realize I twisted my ankle really bad so I immediately fall down <laughs> again like even worse than the first time uh, and I'm just laying oh, like no. and at that point it's like I know I can't stand up no. so I'm just like laying on the sidewalk what did you like do? defeated I just like waited for like a minute then I got up and did to walk anybody help you or there's no. still nobody around? <laughs> no one around I like how you're like nobody saw we're good but then you I, tweeted about it <laughs> I absolutely ate shit on my stairs this morning <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my security camera got it and everything do we have footage? I mean, I was in my underwear, so I don't really uh, want to show. I could probably play the audio though; it's pretty funny. Your stairs like down to your main floor. Yeah, I was just go. I was going up the stairs. I just slipped and I hit. You tripped the up step. the stairs. Yeah, I hit the step, and I swear my entire kneecap went. Oh, oh and I was no. just like, oh. no. I can't do kneecap things. That, uh, that really fucking. Yeah, I'll see happens. if I can play the audio for you. Keep, keep, keep talking. Yeah, we'll keep talking. Uh, I, I wiped out in Toronto this past summer. I was wearing new shoes, so they weren't all like scuffed up at the new bottom shoes. yet. You guys don't know the issue because you probably no. I, I feel you. I, I, wear, like I wear nice shoes, shoes now too. That's yeah. true. Oh yeah. So um, slippery. Lindsay and I were leaving a bar, and I had had one glass of wine, not drunk <laughs> at all. But we're leaving, and it's these like stone steps, and somehow my legs slide or my feet slide off the stair, and I go down like knees first. <gasps> like my feet somehow <laughs> went like underneath me, mm-hmm. and I like. Went down forward, and my knees and my legs all like clanged onto those uh, stone steps. And everybody outside saw, and they're like, "Oh, are you okay?" And I'm sure everyone's like, "Look at this fucking drunk bitch, <laughs> 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 fucking wino." Yeah. Do, do you have the audio? Yeah, I got it. All right, sure. this, this this is Gavin's audio of all him right. falling up the stairs. It was, it was the cat's fault. Make sure you play it on the front of the mic. All right, it's uh, it'll be like the next ten seconds. All right, here, here it comes. <laughs> that sounds like a foley sound effect for a fall. It's like, yeah, we got this great movie. We got this great film of someone falling. We need to make a, a foley sound oh for God. someone falling. That is exactly it. It, it. it hurts so much. I've never felt my knee move in such a way. Now oh. it's all swollen. It feels like it's full of fluid. Probably have to have surgery. Are you limping at all? So nah, but I was just I was I didn't know what to do other than just lie there for about a minute, just go like like that scene from Family Guy. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, <laughs> you, you mentioned uh, that uh, the thing and, and pulling the girl down with you and you know hurting yourself and hurting her. Yep, very um, familiar with that. Yep. One time so when I was guessing. in uh, in uh, in college, I uh, there was this big trampoline that was out at the dorm across from ours, and uh, you could just go and like jump on it or whatever. And there was a girl that I've been kind of seeing, and we were you know. Kind of, I, I wouldn't say we were dating, but we'd gone out a couple times, and uh, she was like, "Oh, let's go jump on the trampoline." And I was like, "Okay, yeah, let's go jump on the trampoline." I'm, co- I'm co- uncoordinated as fuck, right? So I'm like, this is not going to end well. You know. So uh, especially like younger, even more awkward Gus. This was, this was a recipe for disaster. She didn't know what she was getting into. So we like start jumping on the trampoline, and something happens to where it's like, I jumped, and then the trampoline was coming up at just the exact wrong moment for her going down. <laughs> And it like you super bounced her. Yeah, I, su- I super oh. bounced her, but it like it didn't break her ankle. Oh, oh. Like, oh. she buckled on the super. Yeah, bounce. she like oh. got all fucked up. It's something happened to her ankle, and like she <laughs> fell off of the trampoline. Oh, no. I was like, I can't walk. I can't no. move. I was like, oh no, like I'll take you to, to get help. <laughs> She's like, no, just stay away, you monster. <laughs> and then so it's like. uh I don't, I don't remember how she got to the doctor or whatever, but then I remember seeing her, like, the next day in the cafeteria, and she had, like, crutches, and her whole leg was, like, all wrapped <laughs> oh up, God. and I was like... I did that. And I was like, is that from the trampoline? And she just, like, looked at me, <laughs> and then just, like, <laughs> like no. shuffled off. And I was like... How long did you date after that? <laughs> oh, that, was it. that You're was married it. now. That was it. It was... I, I don't think I ever talked to her again oh, after God. that. That was the straw oh. that broke the camel's foot. Oh. Oh. Nothing? <laughs> 
<laughs> Anybody? <laughs> no one. Oh, uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm uncorded. Has, has anyone else ever done that? I had a moment. Um, this is when I went on birthright, which is like a trip that I took to Israel mm-hmm. when I was 19. And the first day that we got there, it was like a, a way to kind of meet everybody. There was about 40 kids on the trip. And so it was a way to break the ice with everybody. We had a thing where we raced around the sand track. And then it was like the three girls and the three guys who were the winners then like paired up together and they were supposed to do like a piggyback race. Oh God. So I got on this guy's back, two other girls get on two other guys' back and they're like ready to race. They say go instantly. Every single person takes like three steps. And because of the way the weight is shifted, all three girls go tumbling forward off the guy, including me. Mm-hmm. And like I twisted my ankle super bad, Jesus. and like all the guys felt super horrible because everyone was like the adrenaline was going, everyone's ready to go, <laughs> and just the momentum of someone being on someone's back just mm-hmm. tossed us off into the sand. I had one thing that ruined it with a girl once. Yeah. No. I. <laughs> I made her laugh once. She farted and never <laughs> talked to me again. <laughs> to be fair, that's not your fault. She was too embarrassed to look me in the damn eye. I was like, I don't care that you farted. <laughs> I, let's make let's make this happen. And she was like, just went all red and then left. Everyone, everyone farts. Oh, I God. know. How old were you? How old was she? About eighteen. <laughs> She's probably seventeen. Yeah, nothing wrong with that. Oh my God. What, it ruined it. I wish I never told the dumb joke. <laughs> oh. What was the joke? So Do you remember? No, I don't remember. How long? How long had you been? Pull my finger. <laughs> nah, it was like second date, probably. Oh, okay. Oh God. Yeah. That's understandable. If you had been seeing each other for like a couple months and that happened, that would be weird. But <laughs> I understand being so embarrassed, like when you're first seeing you somebody that you don't want to do it again. Yeah, she just left. That maybe she that's the one that got away. Flew to another country, started a new life with a new name, <laughs> and she never farted again. <laughs> and her to name. This day, she just con- she's just expanding like a balloon. Yeah. <laughs> so I had the most mental thing. This ever happened to me in a video game. How much co-op Halo have you played? Oh my god, Loads, way right? too much. I don't know if you're aware of all the, you know, all the Halo games levels of difficulty. Halo 2 is by far the hardest. In my oh, opinion. yeah. Halo 2, Halo 2 Legend and Reach. Halo 2 has a thing, it's basically the equivalent of the Iron Skull, where if one of you dies, you both go back to the checkpoint. Mm-hmm. Now the Master Chief Collection is a broken turd. Let's just <laughs> face it. So I, I think I see you tweet about it a few times. I, you know, Maybe I get, once I get or twice. Nice. And I, I keep playing because I want all the achievements. I got like 3,500 gamers score in it now. You achieve but this, there's this level called Quarantine Zone. I, I want to know if anyone else has had this problem because it is ridiculous. It's the longest Halo level, I think. It, it's, it's pretty long. It sucks. It's like you're the arbiter. There's flood everywhere. Yeah, yeah. So Dan and I, I'm playing with Dan, slimmer guy Dan. We're, we're like Who? maybe two hours. Dan Grunchy? <laughs> we're probably two <laughs> hours into this level. Uh-huh. And... One of us gets a checkpoint, and the other one doesn't. So, we don't notice this. But, it happened a few times trying to beat this level. So, we, when one of you die, right. dies, you both go back to the checkpoint. Right. We now have two different checkpoints. So, he goes back to here, no. I go all the way back to here, and we're, we're trying to figure out what's happened there, because everything's looking weird on each other's screen. Turns out that I'm controlling me on my screen, but also on his screen in a completely different place. Oh, weird. What? So, we couldn't figure this out for ages. Like, I kept like dr- running into a wall and like driving off the cliff and stuff. And I was like, what, what do we, we reset? Neither of us died. And he'd be like, no, you just died. Because I'm dying on his screen. So, we're like two hours <sighs> in. We don't want to start again. And I'm thinking like, well, we, we completely desynced. We're in different parts of the level, but we're still controlling ourselves in both dimensions. And if any one of the four dies... Yeah, reset. exactly. So there's now four chances for you to go back to a checkpoint. So I'm like, I'm, I'm like, I'm like, okay. So we're in this room. Let me sit. You stay here. Let me see if I can just beat the rest of my world on my own. And I, I tried that a few times. Like I'd run ahead, but he would die on my screen. I'd be like, oh, you died. So I spent ages, spent like maybe five minutes clearing out the room ages. we started in. It's like clearing out the room, like killing all the flood. He's pissing himself because on his screen I'm just shooting the wall and like punching the air. And stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I, I finally, flashback. I finally get Dan safe in my world. So I'm like, you're safe in my world. Stay safe in your world. Keep me safe in yours. And uh, I'm gonna go and clear the rest of the level. So I, I run off and I'm like shooting flood and he's laughing again because I'm just like doing all this stuff. <laughs> and then a bunch on my screen, a bunch of flood come running around the corner. I throw a grenade oh, into them. No. On his screen, I grenaded myself because no! I'm into a wall and I grenaded my own face. I was like, well, that's not gonna work. All right, clear out, clear out the room again, do all that. 
every time I throw a grenade, I'm going to take three steps backwards first. <laughs> so I'd be like running into these groups of flood, and then on my screen, I'd be running backwards for no reason, but on his screen, I'm like running away from a wall and throwing it. It was like the hardest. It was like lasso. It was like all skulls on. It's amazing. But an even greater difficulty. They should make trying, that an actual yeah, game. Yeah, it was actually really interesting. Like trying to think in. Yeah. It makes in me... one invisible dimension that actually directly affects you. It makes it me think of, of when they would play chess on Star Trek, and it was like the three levels, <laughs> and, then <laughs> put it up. and then move between the different levels. Yeah, in the end, we just we just couldn't do it because I would die. Like we would die on each other's stuff. It was an absolute nightmare. We ended up having to restart the level. We desynced again so e in that, that level. Sounds like a fun challenge. Even if, like, let's say yeah. Dan was at let's call it checkpoint two, and you're at checkpoint one, yeah. and he, your clone is at checkpoint two, and his clone is at checkpoint one. If you advanced to checkpoint two, would you see Dan and your clone, or is there nothing I, I don't there? Think, I don't. I don't think we made it to the point where we could test that out. But I doubt. I right. doubt we would. Right. Be Otherwise, like, there would be like six of us, not four. There's some sort of crazy paradox. But no, you, you're. For, well, you mean like he would actually see us like come into the room? Right. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. Could you stand <laughs> next to yourself? <laughs> that would be messed up. One That'd that you're really controlling on your screen and one you're controlling on his screen. But I would this still be like controlling no both dudes in the same room, wouldn't I? That I love right. I could see Gavin. Would you have like double firepower like then? Yeah. Yes. That'd be cool. <laughs> but yeah, it was a, it was an absolute nightmare. We couldn't do it. We tried for like maybe an hour without having to go back. We encountered a new Halo bug uh, recently for our. I have thought <laughs> of pranks that would work it? great, but only in a bathroom. But you can't <laughs> film. In the Wait, no, hear me out. All right. All right, you walk into a bathroom, right? Public? Public bathroom. Okay. No, a stall is being used. You're like, okay, so you use the urinal, whatever else is your, you, whatever else you're there to do. Um, Shit. You just hear the person in the stall just rip a massive, just earth-shattering fart, and then suddenly you smell cinnamon rolls. <laughs> like, you just smell the most pleasant aroma. <laughs> well, how would you hide the smell of cinnamon rolls? Well, it'd, be some, it'd have to be some sort of, like, you know, they had that, you had the vomit spray or whatever, right? Surely just, uh, they have some sort bring of Bring an bottled, oven into the bathroom. Uh, <laughs> just have some a sort of like other a... bottled Shrew. fragrance. You rip the fart. During the fart, you spray the really good smell, and the guy's laughing, like, oh, that's so good. Raspberries. Like, <laughs> I don't know. That would be so, It's I not mean, the funny thing, like, but I, I, so, I just like to see people. I feel like pieces. we could do that in our bathroom. Could we? Well, you you want to talk to HR about that? <laughs> there's a, so let me tell you about something. Esther showed me this the other day. Uh, you get in a girls' bathroom. There's no urinals in there, obviously. I've, All right, Meg, Ashley, other Ashley, everybody, you heard it. Barbara gave us permission. There's a, so I, when you find that camera. I, I obviously I don't know if this if this stuff works or not, but uh, Esther showed me this website the other day where you can order these pills that will change the way your fart smells. No. Yeah. I've heard Bullshit. About this. So that you can there's three different versions. You can either have your farts smell like roses, chocolate, or ginger. What happens like if you take all three at once? I feel like, <laughs> oh God. I feel it like, like ginger shit, would only be the good option. <laughs> huh? I feel like ginger would be the only good option. I don't know. Really? Should we, should we try it? It's yeah. like 20 I would, I would do it. Or 20 euros for the pills. <laughs> but here's do the question. It. What's more embarrassing, the smell of a fart or the sound of a fart? Sound of a fart. Smell Absolutely. of a fart. Well, mm -hmm. it depends. I mean, if it's... If you're a silent assassin, then it, the smell gives you away. Yeah, no, I, actually, you know what, I changed my answer, you're right, I think it's the smell. Because farts are funny until, until the smell hits you. Yeah, but nothing's like, funnier than a toilet fart. Jeff that reverb is hilarious. Yeah. It's just... Why is it the farts are different through water? <laughs> <laughs> so like... Bloop, 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 bloop. No, not, not sound different, just they smell different. They smell worse. You think? They just smell different. Do you think so they like, pick up? You're talking about like, you fart underwater, and then when the bubble comes up yeah. and bursts? Like, you could, if I could fart in your face, or you could fart in my face. And okay. then if you farted underwater, I could tell you which one was the water fart. Are you sure about that? How yeah. do you know that they smell different? Have Maybe. you gone from, like, your friend just blasted you in well, the it, face? It's well, it's more the concentrated. Pool? Like, you fart in the air, it has, like, and watery... it dissipates instantly. Even if you've just had a shower. You fart, okay. and the whole bubble right, is fart. Now, now I see the science behind but it. it. Gus it's, is a man. <laughs> I don't man. think you need that much water. I think if you have a bit of water on your anus when you get out of the shower <laughs> and you fart through it, it's the same. <laughs> You're talking about wet farts. But, like, not just a wet fart. An actually wet fart. Right, that's what I said. What was the well, a wet, a wet fart to me is just like a wet sounding fart that's dry. How is that any different then? <laughs> because you're farting through water. But what if it's wet? What's what wet? The wet the fart. fart. <laughs> <laughs> the fart's wet and the water's wet. No, the fart's wet. Like, but you're dry. Right. Different. It's, how? No, it's not. It's not water different, but it's different to the water. But how would how? Do, but if it's the same thing, right? No, because water because from your oh, anus and poo this is This is the stupidest fucking conversation <laughs> I've ever heard. Oh my god. <laughs>
there's got to be someone on Twitter who agrees with me. There, could someone tweet me and is, see if you agree with me? Is there a way we could measure this? Is oh there like God. a, well, I, a scientist immersion like a, season three? <laughs> right, there's, there's no two things that can't be measured, right? But yeah, how would you? the debate cam going awesome. right now. <laughs> Look, if two things are different, they can always be measured. But how do you measure the difference in a fart? I don't know, but scientists <laughs> probably can. They can just like either scientists. scan. Scientists. They can send either scan, scan the fecal particles, maybe that's an indicator, or like the composition of a fart molecule is has extra like nitrogen in it or something. Or methane, I don't know. What? Methane? I don't know. Water. <laughs> and that's all, that's all I got. Uh, but please, uh, can, you can check Twitter. Yeah. But you why would it, why would the wetness change the molecular structure of the fart? That doesn't I make don't sense. Know. There's extra I'm... hydrogen and oxygen molecules there now. Yeah, but not methane. Have you, no have you never fought in the bath? Yeah, the oh bath. yeah, all the time. It is hilarious. Once yeah. a day. Again, you get that you get that deep rumble. And it's way funnier, yeah. And then you and you can actually see your fart. It's like, <laughs> wow, it was it was a bubble Be this free. big. <laughs> I never thought about gauging yeah. the what size about, of a fart. What about a queef in in a bathtub? Does that? That's just gross, Barbara. <laughs> You've gone too far. Oh my god, Barbara. <laughs> Come on. No. Say that. We're definitely We're editing that. that, that <laughs> get rid of it. You have you ever Mexican, queefed right? in the bath? Probably. <laughs> is it the I mean... same sort of like bubble size or is it less? <laughs> no, it's less. <laughs> have you, do you think, is it possible to queef and fart at the same time? Y yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the elusive quart. Can confirm. Quart? Quart. Yeah. I like thief. Or oh, thief. <laughs> <laughs> we are at work right now. Yeah. Did anyone say anything? Pe people listen to this. Yeah, I don't know why. Oh, it takes a while. There's there's a bit of a delay. Oh god. Every uh, time. let's see. Um, you guys have all experienced someone queefing, I assume, yeah? Oh fuck yeah. I yeah. think. What funny. was your first experience with that? Like, were you caught uh, off guard? Did you think it was a fart? And you no, it was. It? A... No. To tell it. It was in the middle of sex with my girlfriend in high school, and it was like a, it was like things were going at it, and it was just like, this is essentially if you had had security cameras, right, and you heard the audio, you'd hear. <laughs> 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 Followed by sorry, and then she never called me again. No, it's not. <laughs> you told um, a joke. It was. <laughs> you broke her ankle. Told the joke, and she quit. <laughs> Her vagina thought it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> they did a spit take. Oh. But but a queef is just air that someone else put there, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's I not, think so. It didn't come from within. No, no. it's it's the air that someone else is putting there. I've heard something about I yoga had... queefs though. And oh my god. Well, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I took Pilates and there's also Pilates queefs. Yeah. Because you're bending Ooh, in yes. a way where somehow there's air that goes in and that comes out simultaneously based on how you're bent. And so, you know, they usually don't sound like anything because you're usually bent while it happens, but you just feel like... <sighs> <laughs> like the flash just came in and out. Yeah, and it, honestly, that's what it feels like. <laughs> and you kind of, like, look around to make sure no one felt it. <laughs> They're just like usually the person behind good. you, just like, nice. <laughs> Their hair's just like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my God. I had a really bad experience. Wait, what? With <laughs> queefing one time. <laughs> <laughs> what, you queefed? Yeah. But it was really, really embarrassing because Why? usually when it happens, it's just like one, like, <laughs> or like whatever. Do it again. <laughs> oh, wait, wait do, it, do it in complete silence. I want a new text tone. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you text now, that's going to be the noise. I hope it's so. like a trombone player with a silencer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but usually it's just once, right? Sure. Like one, sure. I, one, we don't know. Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. But one time, I guess a lot of air had been put inside me so i got up <laughs> i'm sorry <laughs> go on it's worse when you don't elaborate but okay go on just put there like oh someone got a guess this for me a clown was filling up balloons yeah. and then you turned the hose on me for a bit <laughs> i'm gonna make a poodle so i got up queefed and i was like oh that's embarrassing but every step i took i kept <laughs> How well, many? you've had running farts before, it right? It was We're like just... seven or eight of them. <laughs> <laughs> I was just like, I swear, that's... seven queefs. Yeah. <laughs> wow. What would that like, be in <laughs> Halo <laughs> if it was kills? <laughs> <laughs> was it getting high pitched? As you, were, as you were slowly emptying yourself? Queef apocalypse. <laughs> Queef a manjaro. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. It was the highlight of my life. Wow. 
Well, that's a brave story to tell, Barbara. Yeah, and I appreciate thanks for coming it. forward for uh, queefers all around the world. I ain't care. I can tell it means a lot. You're crying. Was, yeah. <laughs> it's a very emotional story. It was a wow. traumatic experience. I'm right. trying to get over it slowly. <laughs> I read this article earlier today. I think it was on Mashable, and they linked to like a local news out, a local like a local news station in New Mexico somewhere, mm -hmm. where they had some laboratory go and swab men's beards to determine like what bacteria and how dirty beards are. <gasps> Can we submit Jack's beard? I already know what you're gonna say. Yeah, it was dirtier. It, it was dirtier than toilet. What? So basically, there's like poo poo. Yes, there was like fecal beards. material Wait, and like. How did feek? Fecus get in there. Fecus. <laughs> Sounds like so, the name of someone's pet. I'll send, I'll send you the link, but it's just like, yeah, yeah, yeah beards. Fecus, the ficus. Fecus escaped beards his are cage. fucking filthy. You ever see, like, those demonstrations that people do when they show you, like, the, a flushing toilet? Oh, yes. And exactly how much particulate gets thrown up into the it's air? It's like a poopy nuke. It's yeah, gross. it can shoot up to, like, 40 <laughs> feet. Poopy yeah. nuke. It's awful. That's why I keep my toothbrush out of the bathroom. Keep your toothbrush away, covered something, because mm -hmm. toilets are... Gross, and they they. they so spew does that, that mean shit whenever everywhere. Jack flushes the toilet, just all of his turds? <laughs> it, it was right back in his beard. So surely that that has to stop at some point. Like, like it must get to the point where your beard has all of the turd in it that but it can catch. And then it takes its own stuff. shit. Is yeah. Oh, what, oh, we're looking at the swab video right now. Is this for people who sure don't wash their beard every day, though? No, this was just like random people who like submitted to because. Him. Jack always talks about how often and how thoroughly he walks. Do you believe beard. that for a second? Yeah, but <laughs> I actually do. Even still, there's like there's depth to that thing that I don't think even his fingers could get to. <laughs> even he before. doesn't know how deep this thing goes. <laughs> Journey to the center of the beard. Like, what about this bit, like right here? Like, what about it? what's wrong with it? Well, I mean, to get to his part of that, he would Ooh. have to push on so much hair. I never thought about that. He can't like go around it all. He would have to push the hair. So I don't think he's cleaning the bit under the hair that's being squashed on it. Hmm. Ugh. Poor you have to like completely. You have to take baths to get like all the baths yeah. are gross. Like, There's no nothing gets cleaned by a bath. Yeah, you're just nothing soaking gets in your That's not true. By a, baths are fucking filthy. They're lovely and relaxing. They're not clean though. I guess yeah, you're like swimming in a you... stew of your own filth. Oh, here we are again. Back in the <laughs> <morning>. <laughs> Why do you clean? Do you clean to be clean, or do you clean to not smell like a piece of shit? To be clean. Yeah, but if you don't <laughs> smell like shit, then you're clean. No. What? Your beards don't smell like shit, but they're filled with shit. I imagine Jack's beard does smell like shit. I imagine your beard doesn't. Uh, Barbara, <laughs> Barbara, smell his beard. Quite nice, actually. Oh, there we, you go. Yeah. Smells See? like a filled with shit anyway. <laughs> Point Gus. You some <sighs> poopery. There was a um, so like the big thing. I'm gonna I'm gonna change something. Okay. But the let, let me end this argument and win it. No, I already won it. No, 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 no. I no, just no, won no. it. Uh, 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 in a bath. In a bath. <laughs> You can you can clean yourself. <laughs> you can clean yourself. You get all clean. You smell good. Get all the cracks and crabs. You, you get up. You can't get clean in a bath. But you it's smell impossible. good, and then bath done. You smell good. You feel clean. You're, Who cares if you're clean? You're covered in shit water. From where? Wait, like it's From in your the water. Butthole. <laughs> How dirty is your anus. butthole before getting in the bath? These buttholes are filthy. There's no cleaning They're filthy, a butthole. But I don't think they can spread all over your body from a bath. You they might just get like a shitty knee or something. <laughs> But I don't think your whole body will be one anus worth. I think it is. Did I I'm win? I'm gonna have to agree no. with Gavin no. on this. No. Wait, really? Yeah. I just think as long as How? you smell nice, you're clean. I, cause I, right. I don't think that. Well, now the we're just arguing. Not really, though. But if you've actually washed, <laughs> you are clean by society you're... standards. Yeah, and that's all that matters. But here's the if thing: you're, got, also, like, you're also a woman. I'm going to say no. I, I will agree with Gavin on this. Being clean by society. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what you value more in life is what society thinks of you or also, yourself. But there's no way to be clean, clean because the moment you leave your fucking bath or shower or whatever, you're just going to run into another club. Oh, let's look at the definition of clean. Like, when do you when do you say you're clean? There's all kinds of bacteria living all over your body that you can't get off. And it's on there, and you're still clean. I'm gonna Technically. Look up the definition of I just clean. think people like, are such germaphobes that they need to chill the fuck out. You have an We've immune system. Survive this long. Did you ever see the uh, the footage of those little creatures that live in the base of your eyelashes? Yeah. It's cool. I like having neighbors. <laughs> the definition of clean is free from dirt, marks, or stains. Right. It says nothing about duty flex. And a bath can achieve <laughs> duty exactly that. Duty flex are stains, that. aren't they? <laughs> yeah, uh, but if they're visible. A stain is something it. that's visible. If I've got out of a bath that is just full of fecal microscopic particles, Shit. but I don't have any dirt, marks, or stains, I win the bath. So then, theoretically, mm. you could stink, but still be clean, because you don't have any marks or stains on well, you. you that BO. is, according to that definition, 100% true. In your fucking face, Mr. Free. Oh, where's that. the microphone? Well, 
gonna fucking drop it. <laughs> well, at least <laughs> drop something. Don't... No. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> I like to leak here all of a sudden. I would have dropped it. I would have dropped. I need it. to hear more about <laughs> those berries. Um.